YouTube working upside DIY so I made my own hackamore I'm gonna to try to use this for my cell phone it's just a shoestring and pretty much a, a thing for a whistle or a string for a, a hackamore these are called hackamores they're called tack they're called safety uh, clips safety straps there's a few other words you could google so I'm gonna put this around my neck so I need this uh, hackamore, or or uh, an attack. So I got one end, and then uh, so I kind of basically use my hand to figure out where the knots are, and they're pretty much, and uh, they're pretty much slip knots. Somehow I know how to make a slip knot without really any practice. And then I'm just sorry, my hand is there. So I'm just trying to and uh. Both, oh, I have two loops. It's basically, uh, so I put one loop on already and two, and then there's pretty much uh, just tightening up the string. And hopefully, uh, you know, when I'm making a video, uh, I don't press a button by mistake or things like that. So I gotta watch out for that stuff. And let me go ahead and put this on and uh, get to the video. <laughs> Pretty much looks like this, uh it's going to be made out of irrigation tubing now and I need to also bend this or maybe cut it in pieces but uh, I just glued some popsicle or cut some popsicle sticks. Uh, I had some pretty good easy cuts and things you know I got to uh, sort out my saws and sort out a lot of hand tools and things during that process but I'm going to put this on hold. It's going to be put on hold and replaced with something similar to this. It's an irrigation line. Uh, the thing is, uh, I have a whole roll of this, and it's going to be pretty... I looked on Google and things, uh, or Amazon, actually, uh, to see the price of something like this. Uh, it's They sell rolls of this. They're called uh, edge injectors. You can put them on car doors and stuff, uh, but I don't... Uh, and what I have is uh, you could probably use some rubber... And some of it is really flexible. You could bend it and this and that. Uh, it would be really, uh, you know, nice to have on the edge of a skateboard and things. And uh, this right here, the reason why it's on this cutting board is that that is. Uh, I'm trying to melt this. So the way I'm planning to melt this is with a lot of heat. And actually, I'm going to actually boil some of this. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show you too much of it. I'm just going through all of the uh, supplies that I'm resourcing. The thing about it is there's, um, I don't have a heat gun, but I have a hair dryer. And then uh, you can plug in a hot iron. And if you had like an electric stove, you could plug in. So I've got a nice outlet for uh some some stuff like that but i just wanted to update you guys on so, something that i'm working on uh the thing is uh uh you gotta cut this uh line and things i have a pair of scissors so it's not too dangerous to cut they also sell a special tool to help you puncture them but i've got just you know to help you you um you know install these things because they do have uh these are irrigation line for gardening and planting and things like that but uh there are tools special tools uh that that uh make things easier and i'm pretty sure something out there's uh really good to cut it and also splitting this in, in down the middle i want to uh, i i actually used a pair of scissors and things and cut it and things like that but I, I think like a, a, a nice uh, mail opener or something really um, you know something 
I mean, there, there, there can be some other tools, but so far I've just used these pairs of scissors. Uh, it, it, you know, it does do the job and things. It's just, uh, you know, you gotta have strong hands or whatnot. So yeah, that's most of my DIY for this. Uh, just showing you guys the skateboard stuff uh, that I'm working on, and hopefully, um, you know, get a good finish. You know, and the thing about this is, uh, this has to bend with the curve of the nose and uh, I also have to paint the edge of this but uh, the main thing and when I paint the edge of this I'm going to be able to paint this and that um, and, and, and um, you know uh, this this stuff uh, a few of these things and you know since uh, you know that's most of the update for the skateboard I could really make an all though just a tour some of these uh things uh these are the caps for the fish fish fishing pole i'm gonna have to glue you know use some good, good things but i'm gonna you know pretty much uh you know do a random video at this point where uh yes this uh these seedlings right here they were doing good i made pretty much a a, a net a bird net netting this has uh, this is comes in rolls and it's um, pretty much um, I used a, a string for it and things like that. and um, I weaved the string and it's good and I got a waste basket basically for water but it's not doing that good right now it's not doing it yesterday it was doing okay and things and I'm thinking I'm going to have to really find it outside and things uh, I've got like a tub of dirt and um and try to keep an eye on it but birds may get into it birds may not but this is cantaloupe it's pretty much a a sweet fruit or melon and things i um i'll just have to keep an eye on it uh they were doing pretty good yesterday um you know now they're not doing as good as i expected i'm not sure what happened to them but they're really easy to sprout, and most of the time people sprout these and actually put them in dirt and things. So I guess I could do my intent, uh, you know, another part of this video outdoor. I'm just going to dump in, into a a a a, a, a uh, pretty much a plastic tub with some dirt in it. But trying to be careful on things, uh, it's really tough. Uh, you never know. I don't, I'm not really sure what happened to them or anything, but, uh, so I got some more, you know, that are actually, I just didn't feel like throwing these out, so I just tried to just sprout and plant them. So these are actually most of my hacks, uh, just some gardening and then I'm trying to finish up a lot of uh, stuff uh, and then at, while I can and stuff, but it's, it's getting really tough to uh, uh, to to manage my time um, as I need to uh, because, uh, you know, I play video games and you know um enjoy watching youtube videos and stuff but it, it, it's just something about getting my own work and schedule on but yeah these are sprouting so yeah and, and even being able to uh you know manage um just keeping my myself together it it, it, it it does take its toll, uh, uh, because, uh, you know, I'm just getting older and, and more tired, or just, uh, you know, it's just weird stuff, but, um, yeah, that's just how it goes, but, uh, when these start to sprout, I'm gonna move these too. So here's pretty much my hack of more uh, and there's another DIY. Just like trying to hang on my stomach, but I'm trying to take care of it. So let's go ahead and try to take care of this. I'll be right back. So that's pretty good. I 
Um, basically, you know, was hands free real fast with this, uh, and I just basically moved whatever I had to move, and I kind of got one stuck or something like that. So yeah, I guess I could, uh, you know, you, you know, not work this uh this new thing that i have for my camera is is kind of the first time i'm testing it and it seems like something that i could really work you know make useful and you know it's, it's pretty much done cheap and it's going to get the job done so let's go ahead and uh you know get these outdoor and uh probably just um i can actually keep this like this for a while and then just do an update outdoor yeah that's probably what I'm gonna do is just probably uh, uh get, you know huh, oh my gosh I'm just like making you know excuses and stuff and you know there is one or two things but I'm just gonna put that there for now and then back on the skateboarding stuff uh I can make a rail and things uh, for the skateboard, uh, I can make molds basically. Just have it, you know, just even with this tray, uh, I, I can, you know, have a layer of uh, mortar and then just kind of press these in, let it dry, and remove it. And then I, I could really, you know, kind of uh, make a pattern for a rail or something like that. And I could really, uh, you know, show you guys. Something I'm going to be working on, and um, and I have this nice uh, kind of a dresser, a small dresser, but uh, you know, this metal tray is good for it. You know, it's going to protect the top. I'm going to have to cut some cushioning from a garden hose, and then go outdoor uh, and get a piece of garden hose uh, later today and plant those uh, sprouts. But yeah, it's kind of in my kitchen and stuff. I'm still cleaning it off, but I could lay the skateboard across there and um, you know, do do the uh use the hair dryer and things to help me mold the the tail and things. But um it's really flat and and things like that. I I'm I'm getting things together. I'm going to have some storage space. And like I mentioned, it's kind of in my kitchen and stuff, so I'm going to be able to uh, you know, get or look with behind that stuff and there's more random stuff that I'm sorting out and stuff there's uh you know just stuff that could be in other places and things lids and this is actually a really good saucepan that I found I might be able to use this to help me um melt the plastic uh, I'm not sure yet I might use a, a more but this will be a good size and pan kind of pr pr protected but yeah even like an indoor tub like this all I need to do is kind of glue it and then clean up all this these random things it's kind of in the kitchen too but I could put random stuff in here and uh, you know if and there are some professional cetaceans uh, and things these are pretty good for my uh, upcoming uh, dentistry type of uh, situation where I do need to uh, you know, use, uh, you know, just, just be a mobile tooth repair, but that's something else, uh, that is completely different. I'm not, probably not going to do it on YouTube or anything, just maybe show you the tools, but I'm, I, I need to really, uh, you know, practice, uh, fix, uh, replacing teeth and stuff. So yeah, that's most of my video. The rest of the stuff, uh, is just more stuff that I'm sorting out, just picking, taking out all the paper and things inside of this plastic bin just putting this paper to the side for other DIYs maybe drawing on stuff so yeah just trying to finish up Sorting this stuff out, and I'm separating, you know, with all the plastic bags and things. I'm I am finding some useful stuff still, and some 
stuff that is just paper like I showed you. So yeah, watch uh, thanks for watching Upside DIY. The thing is, uh, yeah, these, these, uh, you know, in these uh, water planters can be good, but I think it's just a little too cold of water sometimes. All right, have a good day. Bye, guys.